welcome you guys. Today we're talking about the idea of from stability comes movement. So the basics that we do in our 101 series, if we haven't developed those and we haven't been doing the classes that I've been sending out, then these episodes going forward are going to be a lot more challenging for you and you're not going to get what you should out of them. The, the next phase of this, uh, number 10 through 20, we're going to be focusing on this idea that when we're stable and when we have this strong core, that that is then where movement blossoms and becomes a lot more easier for us to access our muscles access our muscles. <laughs> it's Monday here, so you got to forgive the, the teacher. So today, I want you to start with your feet together. We're getting rid of warm-up, and we're focusing on finding this hold, this squat together, knees together, feeling inner thighs here. You can add arms overhead, hands on the hips if you're just getting started. You want to dip low enough where you feel glutes and hamstrings turn on. And then we're jumping the feet out, single lower, hold it about three to five seconds, and then jump back in, tap it down. Ten of these, out. And I'm relying on you guys to do a warm up. So if you do not enjoy cardio, find a group that you can join where you can go run, you can get on an elliptical at a gym, whatever it takes to get you like 30 minutes of cardio or just make it your routine. Every time you turn this video on, you're doing 30 minutes of cardio beforehand. You're halfway there. This is number five. Let's add arms overhead for those of you that have gone a little deeper today. This engages more of the core. It helps lift our belly, our chest, our torso. Last time through, all the way in, feel those inner thighs. Jump it out. You're going to hold it out and tap. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. These are little taps. 5, 4, 3, 2. Now hold it down for 10. Go as low as you can. 6, 5, 4, 3. Two, jump it in. Same thing. Feet together. Feel those inner thighs. Tap 10, 9, 8. Reach through those arms. Sit back with your hips. 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it down for 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Shake your legs. You're coming down onto all fours. Knees are all the way together. Shoulders are right on top of my wrist. Stretching your right leg back. Feeling your glute immediately turn on. I want you to take a little bit of a degree opening. Open that hip. Now pull it down. Open it. Pull it. And immediately, we're just doing 10 of these. This is the warm up for the real stuff we're doing. You don't get to 10, that's okay. You just want to feel that inner thigh turn on. Do three more. Just a little open. Close it up. Feel that inner thigh. Now lift up. One, two, three. My leg is locked. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, hold it, ten. Now bend the knee, flex the foot. Press your heel up, back down, up, back down. That's three. We're going to ten again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
nice. Lift and fold it at the top. Fold, fold, fold. And then curtsy it down. The knee comes to the shaft. Take it up. Tap it. Lift it up. Four. Break that into chunks if you need to. If the, the fold would be here, bent knee or straight leg, and then the little tap, that's the movement. That's where you should feel it's now a lot harder than just folding it. So, stretch the leg back, open the hip, pull it down. Open the hip, pull it down. And we don't want to open it too far. So none of none of this. Okay, just a couple of degrees. You're opening it up. Now we're pulling it down, accessing inner thigh. Each time I'm lifting up, relaxing inner thigh, pulling it down, squeezing it. So I'm consistent each and every time. Do one more for me. Hold it there. Keep the legs straight, locked out. Lift it. Ten, two, three, four, five. I want you to pace off of me. You can always go slower. Do not go faster. Seven, eight, nine. Lift and fold it. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Drive the heel up one. Up two, up three, four. So it's mindful and paying attention. So every time I lift that knee, I feel it in the same spot. Nine, lift and fold. Ten, curtsy down. Knee touches the tap. Take it up. Down, take it up. That's the dancer in me. I want to come down real low. You don't have to do that. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Set it down. You just shake it out. You sit your hips back onto your heels. You're immediately stretching your glutes. Take a couple of breaths. We're staying on all fours for the next exercise. Coming back up, this is our in and out. So you're stretching out, pulling in. So start with your right leg back, flex the foot, left arm forward, and then pull it in. You want to feel the crunch, hold it for a couple seconds, stretch it out, feel the glute, feel the back body strong. In, squeeze, exhale, out. In, out, keep going. Ten of these. Number nine. Hold it, hold it, set it down, shake it up. It's always good to add little folds when you can, especially when you're tired. You can add five seconds to that, see how the body feels, try not to react to it. Switching sides, left leg back, right arm forward. Pull it in, stretch it out, exhale. Maximum contraction, squeeze. Find that glute, find that straight body position. Here's 
Number seven. Again, you can sit your hips back on your heels. Take a couple seconds. Come on to your belly. <clears throat> so hands can start out in front of you, elbows out to the side. I want you to take your right leg, lift it up, and then left arm, lift it up. Set it down, switch left leg, right arm, and then switch. And make sure that when you're lifting your leg, it's not bent, it's straight, it's locked out. A lot of times, because we can't see what's behind us, our brain turns off the muscle memory back there. So if we're not actively engaging the back body, you start to feel weird. You're like, that doesn't feel natural and normal. And it's just muscle memory. Two more. Lift both legs up and then take both arms out to the side. This is your modification. Arms forward would be a little bit more advanced. And I want you to start to squeeze the legs together so your big toes touch. Heels touch, inner thighs squeezing together. Let's count to 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That same count. Flutter kick the leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can set a timer and do 10, 20, or 30. We're just doing 10s today. We're going to do that two more times, so that's three sets total. Lift and hold it for 10. Squeeze right away. Four, three, two, one. Flutter kick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, rest. You have one more of those. Take one more breath and then we're right into the hold. Lift it up, squeeze tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. This time it'll feel really good. Hips to heels. Back up onto hands and knees. We're coming into a side plank. So I want you to start right hand down right leg back and just turn on to the side of the right foot kick stand with that left foot top arm up this is modification and i want you to make sure you don't feel your calf resting on the ground the leg the hip dropping we want hip squared leg off of the ground and then step top foot back maybe try that couple of breaths to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lower it down. Switch sides. Start with the kickstand. Foot in front. Top arm reaches. Try to square the hips. 
feel it out. Make sure alignment is pointing. Hips forward, bottom leg lifting up, feeling that contraction. Top foot steps forward. Count it. Ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set it down. You're going to the other side. Right arm again. This time we're adding to it. So foot is in front. If it is, if we're modifying, you're just staying there. Holding for 10 again. Top arm reaches, driving that top knee into the chest, back down. Two, three, four. Squeezing butt at the bottom, core at the top. Five, six, seven. You should be feeling these. Eight, nine, and 10. Drop it down, switch sides. Top arm reaches, knee to chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Set it down. You should be breathless after that last one, especially if you've been doing these workouts regularly, you will feel that these aren't as difficult, but they're a little bit more specific. And that's what we want. Do it again if you need to. When you're done, I want you to do legs out in front. Take those hips pull any extra skin back and then lean forward with a flat back to try to reach for your toes. And what we want after all that work we did with the glutes, I want you to feel that reach forward and the release into the low back as well. So you're stretching the belly forward, not trying to collapse it. Pull it in, pull it forward, feel that reach. Straddle the legs nice and wide. Drive through the heels and then lean the chest forward. Again, going for that flat back. We spend so much of the day collapsed. So anytime you can pull the chest forward, open it up, get some extra breath into that front heart space. So important. It just feels good. Side body stretch, right hand in front of that knee, and then reach up and over. Couple of breaths on each side. Feel that side stretch from those uh, side planks that we did. That'll feel good. That's always my tight spot is the side body. One more full round of breath, all the way in, all the way out. Toes of the feet can come together, fold forward one last time. It's important after these workouts, just take a couple stretches, breathe, feel good about what you just did. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll